This is Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, the city on the lake. People love it here, and for good reason. You've got the mountains, the lake, four distinct seasons, and a charming town filled with friendly folks. I could go on, but this video isn't about beautiful lakeside Coeur d'Alene. It's about making sure the city's future looks just as good. And that takes great neighborhoods, a vibrant downtown, plenty of jobs and housing, and an all-around strong economy. The things that every city hopes for, and which happen to be the mission of an urban renewal group called Lake City Development Corporation, or LCDC. What's urban renewal? In short, it's the process of bringing new life to urban areas through projects that help improve the appeal and economy of a place. Projects that might not happen in Coeur d'Alene without the efforts of Lake City Development Corporation. LCDC is an independent public organization that was formed in 1997 by the Coeur d'Alene City Council. It's focused on improving two districts, the Lake District and the River District. So who steers this ship? Volunteers, nine of them, all appointed by the mayor and city council. These nine professionals love the city and lend their time to making sure it succeeds. They even hold televised board meetings so everyone can see the progress that's being made. It's about creating economic vitality for a community far into the future. Public investment uh, historically has attracted private enterprise to invest in a community and I think that's what you're seeing in our community. Tax increment financing is the primary tool that we use to do this. We use this tool in concert with the city and organizations like Jobs Plus and the local school district. For instance with Jobs Plus they might locate a business that wants to relocate here to Coeur d'Alene. That business may need some public infrastructure to make their uh, business work. That's where we weigh in. We work out those problems. Uh, for instance, with the U.S. Bank Call Center, uh, Urban Renewal funded some street improvements that allowed that building to be built. And the result, hundreds of new jobs. If you're familiar with Coeur d'Alene, you'll probably recognize the LCDC projects. They include the Croc Center, the Education Corridor, Riverstone, the U.S. Bank Service Center, and the Public Library, just to name a few. These projects were all selected based on their ability to provide significant public benefit to the city. Let's take a closer look. LCDC partnered with the City of Coeur d'Alene and the Salvation Army to make the Croc Center a reality for the community and helped fund over $500,000 to this project. The Croc Center brought with it over 200 jobs and boasts over 15,000 members. Riverstone is another big LCDC project. It involved transforming a 74-acre former mill site and a 75-acre gravel pit into a live, work, and play development along the Spokane River, attracting business and tourism, creating well over 700 new jobs, adding a vibrant park and pond, developing and linking the Centennial Trail and Prairie Trail systems, and even bringing housing for lower-income families. Before this project, the tax base, or the estimated value of the entire property, was just over $3 million. Today, it's valued at $89 million. Anything that we can do to make our city center, community, downtown, midtown, Riverstone, schools better is good for everybody. Um, but as far as seeing what it's done to the whole city around my little place, our little place, um, it can only, it's only improved everything around it. Lake City Development Corporation contributed just over $400,000 to the property that now houses the U.S. Bank Service Center, a project that's brought over 500 new jobs to the area and increased the tax base value from $281,000 to well over $7 million. Partnering with the City of Coeur d'Alene, North Idaho College, University of Idaho, Lewis Clark State College, Fort Grounds Homeowners Association, and community stakeholders, LCDC helped establish the Education Corridor and fund nearly $5.4 million to this important project. The Education Corridor, soon to become the Higher Education Campus, is a pillar for the community that's helping to elevate the area as the choice for higher education. And LCDC even delivered over a million in partnership funding to help bring a new public library to downtown Coeur d'Alene. So where does all that money come from to fund these projects? Great question. Renewal projects are paid for through tax increment financing. That's a fancy way of saying LCDC only receives tax dollars on property value increases and new development within a district. In other words, when the value of properties goes up as a district is improved, the tax only on that increased value helps fund the new projects in the district. 
the city and county continue to receive taxes based on property values before the district was created. It's a great way to improve the area so businesses and people want to live and work there without overloading taxpayers. It's also important to note that the LCDC Lake and River Districts both have a 24-year lifespan. At the end of these terms, the additional tax revenue they've created goes back into the community. Our business, and partially due to urban renewal, is up over 20% and has been for the last several years. Due to the improvements in our business, we have um, employed more full-time people, so obviously our payroll is bigger, and also in the Midtown area, we have several new businesses, which of course hire people. I think urban renewal is really important to Coeur d'Alene as, as, as it is to any town. Uh, you get, uh, whether it's just old buildings needing to be remodeled and updated, uh, street traffic flow, bike paths are a big one for me. Uh, we're always doing meetings on how to plan uh, better traffic for, for commuting, for bikers and everything. Then you have an industrial park that all of a sudden becomes a shopping area. That would be urban renewal. Uh, where my business is currently was 10 years ago, 15 years ago, was a sawmill. Right now, Coeur d'Alene is looking pretty great. But this story is about investing in the future. The face of the city has already changed for the better. It's hard to imagine Coeur d'Alene today without any one of these development improvements. And as Lake City Development Corporation continues to provide the means to bring new life to these urban areas, from attracting more visitors and businesses to creating new jobs and keeping jobs here, the city will continue to be its best long into the future. Thanks for watching.